For this class, I decided to do Bye Bye Birdie, Jekyll and Hyde, Jesus Christ Superstar, and Les Mis 25th Anniversary Concert. Now, through all these pieces, there is a small connection that I found, and it's violence. From Bye Bye Birdie, where during the Ed Sullivan show, you have Hugo, who runs out and punches Conrad Birdie right in the face and knocks him out. To Jekyll and Hyde, where Hyde goes around killing everybody. To Jesus Christ Superstar, where Jesus gets whipped. And finally, to Lamez, where they sing about violence and death. Now, this is a point I'm going to make out. Every other production piece, besides Lamez, you can see the violence, while Lamez just sings about it. There's also a connection with themes between Jekyll and Hyde and Lamez, in my opinion. So, in Jekyll and Hyde, you have a couple themes. You have man versus man, and good versus evil. This is also seen in Les Mis. Sorry. You see, of course, the man versus the man, which is the people versus the soldiers slash society. And in some people's opinion, I'm not saying it's mine, but in some people's opinion, they see good versus evil. See, they see the people as good and the soldiers as bad. And of course, the way the production was recorded, I guess I would say, is similar between Jekyll and Hyde and Jesus Christ Superstar because they are both stage productions. While Bye Bye Birdie was, in a way, a movie production, and Les Mis was done in concert form, which in Tell you the truth, I had never seen a performance like that. Um, what I noticed in the musicals, I'm not lame as, were the tiny details that were used to help the production. Starting off with Bye Bye Birdie, it's an Elvis Presley parody, so of course there's just going to be things found within that resemble Elvis Presley. But it's just the tiny things that really help support it. For example, the first time Conrad Birdie is seen within the production, he is so similar to Elvis by his hairstyle, by his outfit, which the shirt is unbuttoned to a V, which is Elvis is known for, and the dance moves, and even the vocal styling is so similar. Also, in... Jesus Christ Superstar. During What's the Buzz, second time when Jesus is getting arrested while all of his followers are f asleep on the steps and Jesus is getting arrested, they slowly wake up and go around him and circle and try to figure out what's happening. You have other people come in with cameras and recording devices and all these other electronics to kind of capture what's happening. Which is also like. Throughout that whole production, there are so many tiny details that help the performance, in my opinion, enhance it. And of course, Jekyll and Hyde, which is the best example of the tiny details. Because there's only a tiny de difference between Jekyll and Hyde. During the transformation slash transformation song scene, whatever it's called, you have Jekyll, who is in his nice outfit, white vest, white shirt, white bow tie, black pants, and his hair is slicked back in what I think is like a ponytail in the back. But anyway, he was at a fancy party, and he comes to his lab, which is, of course, it's a lab, so it's filled with beakers. He has like a tables and things that look like burners, and of course, he has his notebook that he's writing everything down, and it gets 11.30, and I'm here alone. And he has a red vial, ties off, jacks, and then, you know, the song happens, and then the transformation happens, and the, like, there's only subtle differences between Jekyll and Hyde. In this scene, bow ties undone, shirts unbuttoned a little bit, and his hair is out of the ponytail, and it's just hanging around his face. 
And it's like curly at the end. And it's just like, that's it. And even during another scene where we see Hyde, he's not that much different than Jekyll. He's just like, he's wearing an outfit that I deem high society, like he's wearing a vest, a long coat, he has a cane, you know, and it's just, except for the hair, everything he wears, I think someone of high society would wear. So it's just small details that are really important in these productions. Watching these musicals at this time is, for me, interesting because if I watched these musicals before, I wouldn't relate to them at all or think about them that much. But in this moment in time, I can actually relate to at least one. Like, in only small parts, like in Les Mis, I can relate to them never giving up. Even though the battles are already lost, they still stand fighting. And that's me. I never give up. And in Jekyll and Hyde, I relate to fighting with myself. Arguments and, you know, stuff crazy people have. And then I don't relate to Jekyll and I and Bye Bye Birdie at all. Like, I don't. To that. But. Jesus Christ Superstar, I'm kind of Judah in a way. I'm pretty sure he's the guy who Jesus tells, like, you're gonna do this. And then he's like, I'm not. And then he's like, yes, you are. Just go. And it's just like, that's me. People tell me what I'm not gonna do or what I'm gonna do. And then I just wanna prove them wrong. Even though I'm, and I know I'm gonna do it. And then. Of course, the way they were presented, I'm used to the way Jekyll and Hyde were presented and Jesus Christ Superstar. The other two, a little weird. Um, the, the pieces of musical theater I engage with aren't that much. Like, I don't really do the media. I don't really interact or anything. It's more of the performances, the live performances, which I engage with, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like sitting in front of a computer screen watching performances. I prefer to go out and sit, sorry, in a theater and watch performances live. Because in my opinion, there are a lot of details you miss when watching performances on screens compared to live. In the best example I have is I watched Je I went to see Jesus Christ Superstar. I not I went to see well I also saw that. I saw that different ways, which was really interesting. I saw Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, the musical when it came to Fisher in Detroit in March. And I saw it twice. And the way I saw it was I saw it like Sunday night and then Monday night. And it's just within those two nights, you know, I saw a different cast. I saw different ways they did like small things, but still because I saw it before, I was just like, oh my gosh, they did that differently. Okay, my understanding of culture, it's like, because I had to do research on them, I learned a lot about the past. You know, I'm not saying I didn't know anything, but it's just like, I learned more about where these musicals were written, where they were based off of. And just the time period around it, which was really interesting. And to know what the authors were going through when they wrote it, slash time period. But the best one, like my favorite to describe culture, is Jesus Christ Superstar. Because that's the one that most relates to, in my opinion, our culture today. And the best scene to represent that, as I stated earlier, is what's the buzz because when Jesus is getting arrested, they all bring out their cameras and their recording devices. And that's 
pretty much what happens in today's society is an event occurs or a situation happens everyone pulls out their phone to either put it on Facebook to record a video to take a picture to tweet it to Instagram it or something and Jesus Christ is the most interesting because it's been around for so long and the musical was created so long ago and you see the productions and they're just it's slowly gaining like you see the original and then you see this one done to 2012 and it most like it relates to our society and it's interesting to see it go from back then to like you see other productions that were done through the years and it's just really interesting but throughout this semester I've learned a lot it's been a pain in the butt sometimes but it was really worth it I learned a lot and I was I learned some facts I was surprised at but it was really interesting learning about the past and present.